to induct Jay-Z, Dave Chappelle. Oh, wait. I would like to apologize to the, I'm just fuck with you, that's not it. <laughs> this uh, is an incredible honor to induct this next man into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But I need everybody in rock and roll to know that even though you are honoring him, he is ours. He is hip hop. Forever and ever and a day. I could sit up here tonight. I could talk about his acumen as a businessman. I could talk about his accomplishments in music. But I think what's most important for everyone in this room to know is what he means to us, what he means to his culture. Being black in America is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> There's always an or else. Don't do this or else. Don't say this or else. But like Sean Carter said about himself, I'm so brazen, I'm so brazen. I'm raising in the sun, sir. We do it anyway, whenever we have to. We don't have a complicated emotional vocabulary. We have to make everything look easy. And this man is a diamond that was born of pressure. To coin a phrase that fellow Hall of Famer made, Tupac Shakur, he called it a rose that grows from the concrete. And that to us is what hip hop is. We heard our stories come back to us, our stresses and our strife. And the whole time that he said it, my God, Jay, you look so cool. You look so calm and so collected. If I shoot you, I'm brainless. But if you shoot me, you're famous. What a nigga to do, my God, man. It was beautiful to watch. In the music industry, they call him One Take Hove. He said it about himself, but you don't know why he said it. Because when he was hustling, because he used to sell crack. Oh, don't get it twisted. American pie is not made out of apples. It's made out of whatever you can get your fucking hands on. He used to sell crack. He didn't have anything to write his rhymes on, and he would sit there and he would just memorize all these thoughts that came to his mind, an avalanche of ideas, and he would just be catching rainwater. And when he got in the studio, like God, he would do the verse, he would let it be, and it would be. And the streets admire him for this. The streets love him for this because he rhymed a recipe for survival. The way a white person might hear his music is not the same the way someone from Marcy would. When he said, this is Jay every day, when he told us he'd never change, you heard this and he probably said as a white person, well, maybe this guy should focus on his development. <laughs> but what we heard is he will never forget us. He will always remember us, that we are his point of reference, that he is going to show us how far we can go if we just get hold of the opportunity. And for this, we will always love him, and we will always treasure him. And as important as this award is to some, you must understand that he has his people's heart, that we love him more than you could ever recognize him for or even realize because he embodies the potential what our lives can be and what success can be. There's so much poetry if you got to know him and just the way he speaks. 
I remember one time, the Roots was having a jam session in LA. Hello, Amir. And backstage, I saw Jay-Z, and a photographer came up and said, guys, can we get a picture? It was him and his wife, Beyonce. And we all, all right, guys, relax, would you? <laughs> and we all grouped together for a picture, me, Jay, and Beyonce. And I stood between them, and I put my arms around him, and Jay grabbed me and moved me to the side and grabbed his wife by the hand and said, the rose between the thorns. And as they're taking a picture, Jay says to me, you must have a lot of pressure on you to say funny shit all the time. <laughs> and I looked at Jay and I said, well, you must have a lot of pressure on you to say cool shit all the time. <laughs> And Jay looked at me and said, it ain't no pressure, I just do it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and I looked at Jay and said, my God, man, you just did it again. <laughs> Hove, I'm your friend and your fan. I'm honored that I got a chance to know you. You embody black excellence, how great we can be. And I am honored to be the nigga that gets to say to my nigga, welcome to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame.